Hey guys. All right. As you know, in ELA, we talked a lot about the word unique. We talked a lot about what is it that makes characters in a story unique or a place unique like Japan. So today, what you're going to do is you're going to get to make your own way of showing what makes you unique. So I want to show you a few little tips about how you can create a page that will show how unique you are. So one of the things that you definitely need is a picture of yourself. So you know that I can't uh, take a picture right now because I'm using my video camera. But if let's just say that, that I have a picture of myself here and I could take a picture of myself or I could draw a picture of myself. And if I'm going to draw a picture of myself, I might need to add some color and some detail so that it's exciting. So let's say that that is a picture of me. So I'm going to just type in the word picture. or drawing of me. Okay. Now, the other thing that you need is words or pictures that show how you're unique. So, I'm going to show you a few buttons on Google Slides that will help you with creating an exciting page. So, if you insert a shape and you use these buttons called callouts. They have these cool comic book looking shapes. So what I did is I had to click in one corner and drag my mouse down and then I can use the paint bucket right here and I can change the color. Okay. And then if I double click, I can type in there. So let's say that I think being funny is what makes me unique. And I'm going to change the size a little bit because it got a little too big. So I'm changing the size. All right. So then let's say I want to do another thing, but maybe I want to find a picture on the internet. So volleyball is something I'm good at. And I think it makes me unique to be good at volleyball. So I'm going to do insert image and I'm going to search the web and I'm going to do volleyball. And let's see, maybe I, okay, I'm going to choose a picture of this girl. I'm going to insert it and then I'm going to move it how I want to move it. So I can use pictures of, from the internet. I can use um, fun shapes to add words about myself. I'm going to try one more. Let's see, I'm going to insert a shape and this time I think I'm going to use an arrow. All right, and I'm going to change the color by using the paint bucket again. I'm going to make it green, and I'm going to pick a fun font that I like. And I'm going to make the size bigger by clicking this plus sign. Let's see. I think something that makes me unique is that I'm kind to others. I'm going to add that. Um, so I can even take my shapes, and I can use this little button, and I can turn it around and I can move it and make it how I want it to do. I can also click on the word background and I can choose a color. I'm going to change it to gradient. Let's see, I'm going to choose this. And then it changes the background of my slide too. So our goal is going to be that I have at least five things, five that make me unique. So, so far I have three. You could always do more. But I want you to create, um, this is like creating a poster about you. Um, oh, and I forgot one more thing is I should put my name too. I think that would be kind of cool if I have my name. So I'm just going to type a text box and I can put my name at the top. So what is it that makes you unique? Let's see, I'm going to try 30. This is there we go. Um, and I can make it even bigger. And I can change the color if I want red. Okay, so play around with these tools, but your goal is to show what is it that makes you unique and how can you create an online poster of what makes you so unique. 
and I can't wait to learn about you guys and see what you come up with. Um, all right.